This is Carl Eller, and you're watching the One Bar and Lepicus Show. Welcome back to the One Bar and Lepicus Show. I'm Lepicus here with One Bar, and we're going to talk about something that no one's expecting to happen. But what would happen? What would we expect to see if Mike Zimmer was miraculously and shockingly brought back to this team, kept for another year? Yeah, let's be clear. I, neither of us think this is going to happen, but crazier things have indeed happened. So anything's in the card. So we got to we gotta at least take a quick look at this. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel, like the video. We're getting very close to 4,500. Hashtag 4,500 in the comments for a $50, $50 gift card to the NFL shop. Also, Patreons, let's get to 60. Let's get to oh. 60, two bucks a month. Let's get to 69. That's perverted. Let's get to 62 bucks a month. Mystery video, shout outs, trivia show. What am I missing? Monthly swag. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing with this. I fully expect 100% think Mike Zimmer will be fired probably Monday at some point. But we talk about, we call it the Cooper Rush phenomenon. There's a voice now starting to whisper in my ear. What if he comes back? What if he comes back? Maybe he won't be fired. Why is this the Cooper Rush phenomenon? That's what we call it. Because you, you expect to beat a backup quarterback. But it's Minnesota Vikings, and the doubt starts to creep into your mind. These voices, you start to feel it in your heart. Hey, let's, soul, let's be clear. I need to interrupt for a minute. I never expect, as a Vikings fan, to beat a backup quarterback. I just want to be clear about that. Okay, but I'm just saying, so what we called it. We called it a couple, like a, two months ago. We called it the Cooper Rush phenomenon, where you expect one thing to happen, but deep down, like this voice, not deep down, but like you just you get this voice in your ear before before the game. Maybe it's the day before, maybe it's three days before. Maybe it's not going to go the way you think. And I'm starting to get that about Mike Zimmer coming back. I remember the first time I was with a lady, I thought that some things were going to happen. It went completely the opposite. I, was a I think you pulled, down the, you pulled on the trout. Oh, oh, let's, go. let's go. Poop. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Things that would have to happen if Zimmer came back that nobody wants, but they would have to do it. And let's start off with the easy ones. The easy one. Fans would be not only shitting themselves, punching themselves in the crotch, punching their mother at the dinner table, punching their grandmother at the nursing home. Fans would just lose their shit. They would be pissed. It's because everybody thinks it's going to happen. Everybody's ready to move on. They've seen enough from Mike Zimmer. You've seen these press conferences where he's short with the reporters. He's throwing his rookie quarterback under the bus. No reason to do that. Um, And he just, everything he shows in his body language, it looks like a guy who's done. You see the product on the field. You can't finish a game against the Lions. You, you totally just kind of tuck and run. Uh, you, you tuck your balls up and let them march down the field to win the game. You don't win the close games. You have some terrible decisions in game. Clock management's bad. And, and fans are ready to see this guy go. And if he was somehow brought back when they expect to see a new, young, offensive-minded coach come in, I think shit would hit the fan absolutely. Speaking of tuck, uh, it's always fun to tuck in front of the mirror, but have you ever turned around and saw what was behind the tuck? Isn't that what you look for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's easy. I mean, there are some Zimmer fans out there. There are some fans that would like to see him back, but the, the percentage is heavily favored towards the other side. So fans would lose their shit. Twitter would be very interesting and uh, probably painful to watch, but that's an easy one. Another, well, another, there's another group of people that would be upset as well. Well, one thing before we get into that, it, I don't think anybody hates Zimmer. Like, I think well, no, we all, but there are some ones like, that want him to come back. Yeah, but we all like Zimmer. I mean, we like what he's done. We like who he is and what he brings to the table, but it just feels like it's time, right? It is time, but there's people that think that they would rather get rid of Spielman, keep Zimmer. And that kind of ties, to our, it kind of ties to our next topic. If, if Zimmer does come back, someone will be pinned for this you know, this missed playoff season, this disappointing season, someone will be the fall guy. Someone will get all the blame. And it might be Rick Spielman, but I think we both know who it's probably going to fall to. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're, they're, first of all, first of all, the uh, Thanksgiving dinners are going to be very awkward. Christmas dinner is going to be very awkward because, unfortunately, if Zimmer was to come back, it's going to be weird because he's going to have to fire his kid. And uh, there's no way around that. Sorry. He's the one who put him there. So he's in the spot where he's got to take care, do the dirty work. And not only that, but it, uh, next time he sees Gary Kubiak, it's going to be awkward as well because he's going to have to fire his kid too. Both of them, gone. Yeah, I, I think he may could maybe squeak by by repositioning his kid to a different role, whether it's like backup. Get the hell out of here. 
facts coach or something like that. But uh, Clint Kubiak is the one I think is really going to get pointed to. He's going to get the hell out of here. He will get the ax if for some reason, some God foreseen reason, Mike Zimmer comes back. I think Clint Kubiak will get the most of it. But you're right. He would also have to fire or demote his kid. And uh, fire is what really should happen. Demote him to uh, assistant to the secondary coach. Assistant, yeah, assistant to the secondary coach. Seems right. like a good spot for him. So, yeah, those are the fall guys, and uh, they're not just fall guys. It's very justified. Um, if Zimmer's gone, these two are gone anyways, but they would have to clean house. Clean house. Yeah. Special teams, fr- Ficken is the only one coming back. Frickin' Ficken. I think hey speaking, speaking of clean house in the coaching staff, I think Meg Zimmer would have to give that up, and it's going to have to fall to the general manager, if that is Rick Spielman, to pick – his coordinators because Mike Zimmer, we can't keep doing this uh, nepotism bullshit. It's got to be a whole new, a, a real defensive coordinator, a real experience defensive coordinator. Mike Zimmer may have to lose some power here if he's to come back. He's going to have to agree to that. Like, okay, fine. Tell me who you want to run the defense. Tell me who you want to run the offense. I will be the head coach, a true head coach, which right now he's not. He's the defensive coordinator wearing the head coach cap. He would have to give up that power. Yeah, no more of this calling the defensive plays. Uh, Zimmer is a lovable guy. Players seem to love him. Let him be that leader. Let him be the coach. Leave the defense up to whoever, which would be a very tough pill to swallow for him. But it would just have to be one of the things that happened. So there you have it. I mean, there are coaches, offensive coaches that alter that actually make this work. It's not working with Zimmer. He would have to be the head coach. That's it. Boom. And maybe it would help. Like if he was actually like more focused on the entire game during the game and not the defensive side of the ball, I think you might see some better decisions from him. Maybe we wouldn't give up, you know, a record amount of points inside two minutes of the first half. Maybe things would get better. Uh, but he would actually like have to sign something saying like, this is what's going to happen. This is what you're going to do. Yeah, maybe he would have some better clock management as well. Maybe he would have know, some better attention to the game. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, and the last thing I think we would see if Mike Zimmer were to somehow come back I think we'd see a whole bunch of rookies and young players be very, very upset. Yeah, White Davis and Kellen Mond would just be the un- most unhappy people in the world, uh, especially Kellen Mond. But, yeah, I mean, rookies, we've seen it aside from a couple of guys. They don't see the field. It's no secret Zimmer does not like rookie players very much, or at least playing them, and uh, they would be very mad. And, it, it, and the incoming class would be like, shit. Please, Vikings, don't draft me. I'm not going to play. Yeah, I don't want to play for a coach who's going to say these kind of things about me at a press conference, shatter my confidence. Even look at the superstar, Justin Jefferson. Him and Zimmer are not exactly I, – I don't think they're a buddy-buddy right now with some of the comments you've heard uh, from Justin Jefferson. So he, he came out and just said the other day, like, why – you know, we should be in the playoffs. And I don't think he's super happy with how those things have gone his first two years record-wise, win-loss-wise, and – I don't know. I don't think him and Mike Zimmer are completely on the same page. You don't want to piss off a superstar young player at all. Yeah, so as as painful as it might be, in the comments, let us know some things that would also have to change. One other thing I'm just going to throw out there is he's going to have to turn that frown upside down. No more of this grumpy Gus bullshit. Uh, Let's see old Jolly Zimmer that we saw a couple years ago because it's painful. I mean, some guys get away with it. Belichick gets away with it, but Zimmer just doesn't, doesn't mesh, doesn't fit. It, it doesn't. And we saw, you know, we saw a little jollier Zim earlier in the preseason. Then things went sour real quick. And we saw grumpy old. Yeah, it went Zim. sour when he's like, holy shit, this team sucks. We saw Gran Torino Zim show himself. And you, uh, you call that right. You nailed it. You nailed it. So um, that's it. No one wants this to happen. No one at this point, at least none of us. And I don't think many of our viewers want to see Mike Zimmer come back. But God forbid if it did, this is, this is what you'd see. And it uh, um, makes me sick just thinking about it, to be honest with you. It does. It does. But I've uh, turned the page. I've turned the page. I'm already looking towards uh, the those beautiful offensive minded coaches that will be available. But let us know in the comments. Subscribe. Like the video. Hashtag 4500. And remember this. When Joseph Stalin was dying, his private physician was unavailable because he was already being tortured for suggesting the Soviet leader needed more bed rest. Moron. <laughs>